that were hidden from us and kept from us, certain basic skills, all right, we need to be known because we are magicians, all right? We are magicians. We are the genie who is always creating. Remember that. We are the genie that's forever creating reflections. All right? Don't forget that. All right, so for those who are just walking in class, you know what I'm saying? Let me start off by saying peace to the gods and gods of the planet Kai. Peace, meaning positive energy. Always creates elevation. Y'all know it's imperative that we open up every lecture with the right spiritual energy. For we understand that we are battling against principalities who sit in here and want to attack us for enlightening and awakening ourselves. Awakening ourselves, all right? To the to the elders in here to gather to here this evening under this beautiful under this beautiful neuromelanated sky. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate all of you, all of you beautiful elders, the gods and the goddesses. Far as to my peers, twenties, thirties, forties, fifties, y'all. I love y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. Yes, I do, dog. Yes, I do, dog. Which ain't nothing but God spelled backwards. You feel me, dog? You feel me, dog? You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing but God spelled backwards. We here today. Shout out to all the peers. I'm sending y'all number the deepest of insight to my 21 and under. You know what I'm saying? I'm sending y'all number the deepest of insight. You feel me? It's war time. We gearing up. They playing with this weather. We three days into what they want to call summer. Which we know summer is 24-7 on our planet. We go, we might not even have a we might not even be a winner this year. You hear me? This system is imploding, it's crumbling. You know what I'm saying? They got about 90 days, you hear me? Shit hitting the fan around here. It's been hitting the fan. It's just they trying so hard to hide it. They going through so much to hide, hide, hide the truth from y'all. But people waking up like, like I say, even a blindest individual waking up. Even the brightest individual wise waking up. Celestial energies. We moving through gateways right now too. So a lot of y'all, if you having trouble breathing, lightheadedness, any little weird feelings, vibrations, it's because we are moving and we're moving through another gateway right now. That's what that retrograde we just came out of was about. And now we're moving into another gateway. All right. So we're gonna have to go deep within ourselves. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be doing a lot of lectures on meditation coming up because it's gonna be needed. When you're talking about raising the frequency and keeping it at a consistent rate. A lot of you all are in this university and you all might be vibrating high. But then if you surround yourself with individuals who vibrate low, they are going to rob you of your, of your, of, of your, they're, they're basically going to drain you of your life force. Okay, so that's why understanding how to actually raise the frequency in a negative house is imperative. Because you first off, you have to understand that there's no such thing as a negative house. Okay, um, you do have houses that do become what they like to call haunted. Or possessed by spirits. That's true. That could happen. But it will never happen to nobody with carbon in their skin. That's why you don't really hear exorcism stories coming from us. Exorcisms are real. They take place. Possession is real. All right? That's real. But notice, you'll never see no no, no carbon and no black or Latino motherfuckers having to get an exorcism. All right? Because uh, the certain entities, certain negative energies, they can bother us from the spiritual realm. But they can't, they can't step inside your temple. You know what I'm saying? That's why, like, ghosts, a lot of, if you ever see a ghost, that's a negative entity. All right? Remember, these so-called ghosts that people think they see, these are just negative spirits who are shape-shifting, all right, um, into the image that, of, that they want that individual to see. So to some people, they'll come to you as loved ones. These be draconian reptilians, y'all. See, like, the, the, the reptilians have hid their species of, for a very long time. So all the fuckery that they have been a part of, you would never know about. Like I told you, adrenochrome is a real thing. When kids used to say they, the boogeyman and they seen monsters under their bed, they were seeing that. That was reptilians exposing themselves to these kids. When you were little and you thought you seen motherfuckers in the corner at night, you it was somebody in your corner at night. You wasn't tripping. You know what I'm saying? And then your mama come in there, they think you're crazy, right? How many of y'all was sleep and went through sleep paralysis? Where you wake up and you couldn't move and shit. Right? A lot of us have went through that. Okay, this is vibration. This is vibrations we talking about. 
When you start to rise and go to a higher frequency, you open up yourself in the spiritual realm to let other spiritual beings know that you are moving through what, what is called gateways. So whenever you go through a spiritual awakening, you are basically going through a gateway. All right. It's an actual gateway that you are taking yourself through, which is why you start to feel different. You start to move different. You start to breathe different. You start to view the realm around you in a different context because you you begin to take yourself through a different gateway as you rise in frequencies within yourself. OK, so you got to understand this science. This is this is science. All right. Now, have you ever noticed how? Well, this is actually metaphysics, understanding the spiritual realm and how it works. Because when you're talking about vibration, you're talking about quantum physics, okay? So you're talking about the astral planes. You're talking about the quantum realms, the spiritual realms, okay? So when you're dealing with vibration and frequency, you got to understand that it's a dangerous realm, okay? When, you're going, when, you, when, you're, when you do want to raise your frequency to raise your frequency, you have to step into the astral realms, even if it's for a split second, okay? Whenever you're going into the astral realms, and you're still locked in this light code lockdown, you are what's called void, all right? You are avoided, you are avoided in the cosmos because you, although you are still trapped in your earthly body, you are still traveling to other parts of the multiverse. So you are fully aware of who and what you are. This makes you very dangerous to principalities that still exist, all right? We have, we have not won the war, guys. We have not won this war yet, guys. We are in the middle of the war. All right. We are in the middle of the war. We are in the heart of war. All right. And the war been going on in the cosmos. but We in the heart of the war now. So now it's starting to be seen down here on this realm. You got you got gods, guys, gods, goddesses tonight, this evening. You must understand what I'm saying now. Y'all might want to sit y'all ass in front of the class. I seen a guy just say that on Instagram. Like I'm in front of the class for this one. You want to be because a lot of y'all are starting to buy crystals. All right, we started to get we started to get into crystals, and not just in this university, just around the planet. It's gonna to get to the point where you ain't gonna buy crystals no more. Mark my word, because they're getting too in demand. I know the individuals who I deal with, they go that they they actually mine and do what they do. I know, you know, what I'm saying the demand is increasing because we're rising in frequency. So it's gonna to get to the point where some of us is gonna need these crystals just to breathe. Okay, we going back to nature, y'all. So the, the whole planet is changing. We was coming down the road early and seeing a fucking deer in broad daylight. He just chilled on the side of the crib. Nigga, like, you don't, you don't, that's not normal. When you see that, pay attention. Nature always knows some shit about to happen. Okay. We walk down the street. We just come driving down the street. Fucking deer. Right there chilling like god damn it he supposed like he was a fucking horse in their backyard. Am I lying back? No. I'm trying to tell you. People gotta pay attention to nature. Okay? Nature will always let you know what time it is. This is why was like we was out early and we was in the woods. You know that's what I love about Georgia, so many natural preserves. We was in a in a big forest. You know what I'm saying? Over six hundred plus acre forest we went to early and we were just in nature for a minute. We just took a stroll through it and just connected, connected with the realm, and, and I heard the trees talking. And like, yeah, it's that time. Because, see, the trees used to sing out frequencies. Okay, a lot of people don't remember this. Your soul remembers it. But the trees used to sing out frequencies. So the trees that you see, like, that we see, that we think are trees, those are really 30 millimeter bushes, and they used to sing out frequencies. Okay, now the real trees, they also sung out frequencies, but they, are, they have been chopped off in half. They are all just dead. They are all just mountain peaks now. Okay, so... The planet itself is raising in frequency. So for a being like yourself, that let's just say you are, you're a god or a goddess, you're enlightening yourself, you're going deep into within yourself to learn who you are, you're getting into meditation, you're getting into working out, you're getting into eating right, you know, exercising right, um, doing a lot of breath work because we, we're right. The reason breath control and breath work is going to be so big moving forward um, is because, <laughs> once again, we have been lied to about science. A lot of y'all gonna notice, you're gonna see this summer, the hot it gets gonna be days where you lightheaded and you feel a little weird. That's normal. You might hear clicking. You know what I'm saying? You might hear vibe buzzing in your ear, like your ears popping sometimes. You might hear, you might, you might not be as hungry as you used to be. It might be hard to keep food down. Like we've been going through it for the last couple of days, like, and it's you know, it might come through come to you as a cold. We might feel like it's symptoms of a cold. A lot of this is that your body is moving to a crystallized. A crystallized state, okay? You're moving out of this 
meat suit state, which you never were. And you're moving back into a crystallized body. Okay, all of us is. Whether you woke or not, this is we this is this is how it's it's made. Alright, a lot of guys and goddesses vibrating low, they're gonna get a second chance because the ancestors know what has been done to y'all to us. So they showing they still gonna show these guys and goddesses some love, and that's what's going on right now. People getting their little second chance. They wanna lag it one last chance, to make shit right now. You know what I'm saying? You got to the end of the year now. You want last chance to make this shit right because the frequency is increasing and it's gonna get deadly. And, and it's gonna get to a point where one day it ain't gonna be no internet. Like you're gonna get on this, get on here, and then it ain't gonna be no, you'll be able to access it. Alright, and I've been saying I've been speaking about this for years. Alright, but we moving closer to that point. Um, it's a lot going on on the planet. I'm finna do lives, I mean lectures about the heat wave thing. Oh, that's a lot I've been seeing. I've been, I've been, I've been, that's why I said I'm always working on lectures to talk to y'all about. They don't even have nothing to do with the cosmos. But I still got to keep y'all up to date on what's going on. Alright, so we just moved out of this retrograde, which was a serious retrograde we went through. Because like I say, these retrogrades are like, they were they are designed to boop bump you up a little bit in your in your, in your your on your spiritual journey. It's the true purpose of a retrograde. Okay? It causes you to look deep within yourself. It causes us to, to, to pay attention to the, the mental restructuring that most of us have been succumbed to through the things that are placed inside of our avatars. All right? This is why we're, what you eat, food, and this stuff. This is why this is so, it's all a weapon used against you. All right? I think I'm going to bring back my lecture on the five different spells because I did this like a year ago on Facebook. It was real deep. I'm thinking about bringing it back and redoing the whole thing and putting it right on the website. I still got the PowerPoint and everything from last year when I first did it. But it's, 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 I think I'm going to need you guys you guys to look at that. That's like very important to what's going on right now in the structure of the cosmos. All right. With these planets shifting, these energies shifting. All right. The crystallized energy is being restored right now in the realm. The elites, they they scared than a motherfucker. All right, most of them have been executed already, but you have a lot of them that live amongst you. You have so many extraterrestrial races that still walk amongst you on the surface. So, like I have been telling you for a matter of the last few months, that the war has been going on in the cosmos and under the surface. And it's been starting to rise, starting to rise to the surface. It hasn't hit the surface, but it's starting to rise to the surface. This is why you see in Texas, they just made it illegal for you to get a gun without even a backdrop, background check. All right? Because you're going to see them try to move us into a purge state where they going to want uh, us to kill each other off and give us days and weeks where we can kill each other and not go to jail. and All, all that's coming. It's coming. Okay? All a part of confusion. So for you to understand how to raise the frequency in your house, you must first understand frequency and what's going on right now on the planet. And because you have Zeus and his army, they are working overtime to snatch as many souls as they can on their side. You see a lot of Autobot activation. It's a lot of people selling their souls. Y'all been seeing a lot of rappers get locked up, haven't y'all? Have a job. If y'all have, and I told y'all it's gonna come. Like y'all can see a lot of rappers getting locked up. Y'all can see a lot of rappers they gonna be sitting either locked up or they ass dead. Or they I mean or they going to jail. When in reality a lot of these rappers were in on the blood drinking. Since I told y'all that, notice how many rappers got locked up since. So I not don't speak about rappers to speak about fucking rappers. No, I speak about rappers because the rappers are the new age preachers. I don't know if y'all know this. Y'all kids ain't listening to no preachers. You'd be lucky if your kid listen to me. See what I'm saying? If your kid listen to me, you lucky. Or the spiritual intellect, you locked up. Because when they get on the internet, they just listen to rappers. That's the only music out here. They don't know shit about no Bill Withers when I get to playing Lovely Day. This is their first time hearing it. So rappers are raising the kids, and that's by design. Rappers lyrics send your kids to jail, and they take the money that you spend on them albums, right? And they put they put their kids and their families in the best positions. This, that's why this must end. They are the biggest weapon against the community right now. 
Cause it's all about the youth and the youth listen to the rappers. All the rappers with a voice, with, with talent, with something to say, they don't put them out there in the mainstream. They put the rappers out there that's gonna keep promoting the violence. To do what? Lower the frequency. Remember, it's a frequency war. So your job is to raise the frequency. Why do you think when we come in here and we talk, we be it Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, we all feel good and we have fun, we joke. All right, I feel more comfortable talking to you, to you all than I do when I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm more militant. When I'm with y'all, it's more of a family sense and I can really get the message to y'all. You know what I'm saying? So that's because we be raising the frequency. Sometimes we raise the frequency so high, like I say, we shatter the internet. Okay? So you got to know how to keep your vibration high. Okay? And it's harder to do that when you're in a house full of drama and negativity. Okay, some everybody's is different. Some people dramas they beefing with their mom. Some people beefing with they their girlfriend, their wife. Some people beefing with their husband, sisters, brothers, kids. And y'all all in the same house though. Okay, so the thing is, how do we raise this frequency? First off, who all live in the house with you? I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to y'all from three different viewpoints how to do it. I gotta speak if you a god. I'm going to tell you how to do it as a guy trying to raise the frequency in a house where, you know, your, your wife live with you or your, or, your, or, your, or, your, or your daughter live with you or your girlfriend live with you. Feel me? <clears throat> All right. As a, as, and then I'm going to tell you how to do it as a young guy if you actually in the house still living with your parents or you roommate with somebody. And then I'm going to tell you how to do it as a goddess if you the wife or the, or, or the girlfriend in the house with the hub beefing with the husband or the boyfriend or the baby daddy. Or if you the or, or beefing with the daughters and the sons, or if you the daughter who's a teenager, or you living with mom and dad, and you beefing with them, or you beefing with, um, you know, mostly teenage goddesses and teenage guys. The house you living in is with your parents, so your biggest discrepancy is gonna be them. And I'm gonna give y'all all the angles from each one because each one is a different. Okay, so let's start with ladies first, goddesses first. Let's start with a goddess. Okay, how can she increase the frequency if, if you're a goddess to have your own house? This is for the, the adult goddesses. So you got your own house, you got your husband or you got your boyfriend, whether he, you know, or, or, or you know, you have kids. The first thing to do is to take command of the household. All right, if you're a goddess and you recognize that you are the one vibrating the highest in the house, even though he is a god and it's, but it's, it's his right to lead the family, you got to know as a goddess when to step up and when not and when to step back. Because that's the goddess. Remember, you, the, you, the, you are the official leader. We are the assigned leaders. It's the difference. As the goddess, you are the official leader. We are the assigned leaders. So what that means is as a goddess, you got to recognize like, okay, when I'm in my household, what position do I need to play? All right. Am I with a god that I can trust to lead? All right, but if he's if he's still kind of not woke, you know that don't mean break up with your husband or break up with your boyfriend, right? But you have to awaken him because this affects what you do in the house affects him. All right, and what he does affects you. Hmm. So you have to first. Analyze the situation. What type of household am I in as a goddess right now? Is my husband a boyfriend? Or is he woke? Is he is he trying to work on his spiritual side, or is he just stuck on going to work and and, 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 and advancing in the material realm? Remember, the material realm is temporary. The spiritual realm is forever. So that's what you need to size up. If this guy is strictly stuck in the material phase of himself, this means that he is only concerned with selling drugs, running the street, or he's only concerned with going to work and, 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 and making good money so that he can pay the bills. All right. He's strictly locked in the lowest part of himself because he has limited himself to just being a worker. He believes his worth is just to pay the bills. All right. So he doesn't have any spiritual insight. You and him are going to bump heads. 
anytime you decide to become what they like to call spiritual, there's no such thing as really spiritual. It's not really spirituality. It's just you are realizing that you are not a body anymore. You now realize that you are really the spirit and the soul controlling the body. And this is what they like to call spirituality, but it's not spirituality. Your third eye is awakening and it's opening. You are, you are raising your frequency. You are going into a higher level of yourself. All right, okay. But if your husband and your and your boyfriend, if if if, if he is not on that level of himself, you are going to bump head. So now that's where the question comes in: and how can you raise the frequency? Okay, so as a goddess, you know, you have to literally sit there because listen, you can. You can sage the house down. Some people say, you sage. Don't forget to open the window so that when you sage, you let the spirits out. If a spirit is inside of your house and he don't and, and he or she does is decides that he doesn't want to leave your house, you can open the window all day. The spirit ain't going nowhere. Like spirits don't they not dumb. You know what I'm saying? It's a spirit. It, you are a spirit and soul, you know? So that's a lie. You can put red pepper around the house, all this shit. It'll help, but it, it's not going to get the energy out the house. Okay. You have to understand your house. You have to understand energy, frequency. Everything in your house has a spirit in it, which is electricity. Everything that forms, take up space, holds energy in it. So it's a lot of things in your house around you that's a lie. That's what that means. And until you recognize that, you can't raise the frequency in your house. Because sometimes the reason that your husband don't even want to listen to you and work on his spiritual side is not because of him. He's being attacked by, by multiple spirits that are weighing him down. They're attacking him the same way motherfucking... Killer whales attack blue whales. The way orcas and shit be attacking shit in the ocean. Like, spirits ride individuals. The body can house them to a thousand spirits by itself. If your husband or boyfriend is not trying to work on himself, then that means he has negative spirits within his house. That means within his temple. This is the true reason he don't want to work on himself. So now you, you have a spiritual battle. So how do you raise that frequency in your house? Recognizing what I'm telling you, that is. Not recognizing that when somebody don't want to work on that themselves, like not on a physical level, on a, on a spiritual level. People that we would call sheep and sleep, they are filled with so much nanobot technology that it, that it made their avatars easily cons con consumable for negative spirits and entities. They need weak bodies. They can't go after you if you're strong. They can't go after you if you know who you are. They don't come after you. They too stay. They are terrified of you. They attack the weak, the weak ones, the weak ones. They don't know who they are yet, or like the kids. This is why in scary movies they always showed you spirits messing with kids first, but in real life they really do. Why do you think the kids always the one to see some shit first? Spirits, negative spirits, need bodies. Once they get in a body, they can release into this density, this, this, this ramp. So, you got to know right away that if you around a motherfucker in your house, you staging, you doing meditate, you meditating, you listening to me, you learning who you are, you learning your true history, you learning about the cosmos, you learning about real science. All these things so you can teach them to your kids. But this boyfriend or this husband, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that pro-black shit. What? Well, that's a negative spirit in him. Now, what if you listen to that spirit? Eventually, you're going to fall out of yourself, right? And lower your frequency. So, know that his frequency is only lower because he is housed with negative spirits. Now, you know Now you know the battle you got. And now, once you notice that, now it's strictly about coming to him just like this. Listen. A positive spirit and a negative spirit cannot live in the same household. That's for one. Somebody got to go. Either the negative spirit is going to get the fuck up out of there 
or the positive spirit is going to get the fuck up out of there. But this thing, remember, you are just the avatar. Your spirit can leave your body and your body can still be right there. And you don't want that to happen if you're not in control. Because if you stay around a negative spirit goddess, no matter how strong your spirit is, if you don't tame that negative spirit, eventually your spirit is going to say, I got to go. And it's going to leave. It is going to go wander somewhere else. And now your avatar is going to open. You're going to let all these other negative spirits in that are, that are more like this boyfriend or, 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 or husband who you have fell in frequency for. Because either he's going to raise his frequency to your level or you're going to drop your and drop a frequency and go down to his. Disagreements in your household with your husband will take place naturally. Disagreements with your boyfriend in your house, because remember, this lecture is about how to raise a negative, how to raise the frequency in a negative house. So we only talk about people living together in situations where we live with others. If you are the goddess, for example, with all type of shit that lower your frequency, a lot of goddesses right there, you 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 going to work and he's laying on the couch all day. Let's go lower your frequency. Eventually, you're going to get tired of being the one paying all the bills. As a goddess, because that's not your role. A god will never get tired of that. Especially, no, he won't. The only way he's going to get tired of it is if he don't have it like that. And, that, and that's for when I get to the gods. We're on the goddesses right now. We're on the adult goddesses with their own house right now. So these are mothers, wives, girlfriends we talking about. Right now. On how, 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 cause it's different individuals in here. All right. So for you to raise the frequency, you have to raise his frequency and you can't force it on him. So start, don't give up on him. If your boyfriend or your husband isn't into himself yet and understand that he has a spiritual battle, he's fighting, he's has negative spirits that are trying to take over him. So they are hindering him from himself, from his, from the best version of himself. So it's your job to make him aware of this hindrance that's taking place within, him, within himself without seeming like you're trying to take away from him. Because remember, you or you as a goddess, you, you made him the leader. So if he don't, if he, if, if he, if he know who he is, he understands that balance. But if he don't know himself yet, which he probably don't because he's vibrating low, at, right? He don't understand that balance. So he really going to get more offended if you just try to come at him. And make him do, do it. You see what I'm saying? See, I'm the man. He really all in his ego because he he in his lower self. He gonna really feel. It. So you gotta kind of like you gotta force it on him without forcing it on him. And you gotta give it. You gotta give it a time. Like I'm, I'm gonna be honest with spiritual warfare. You gotta give it a time. I, I, you can't be no years. It can't go like that with spirituality. Like, and I'm gonna tell you why. But let's let's talk about tricks to help him raise his frequency. So you do stuff like maybe read a book. You don't read books like that. If you read books, cool. If you don't, that's even better. Buy a book based around the subject matter of working on self in some form, shape, way, or fashion. And read that book around. Or read that book around him. All right? And this don't just go for your husband. Because a lot of y'all got daughters that live with y'all that's giving y'all a hard time. Or y'all got... Some of us is giving y'all a hard time. Same shit. Goddesses, mothers. Sit there peacefully. Read the book. Don't worry about it. They're paying attention to you. The book that you're reading is going to emit a certain vibration. So whatever it is that you're reading, everything gives out vibration. So if you're reading a high-frequency book, you know what I'm saying? You know, Uncle Tom's Cabin, uh, uh, you know, you know, just a high-frequency, any type of book. I'm just throwing some name out there. A high-frequency book. It's going to emit. It's going to get their attention. But then what mom reading? And what she reading? Just because they see you reading it. All right. Also, meditate around them. Like, let them see you meditate. And also, you want to meditate around them more because they in the house with you. And you trying to raise the frequency and they trying to lower it. So it's a real spiritual battle going on in your house right now. So I'm saying, so you want to definitely be meditating three times a day. Three 30 minute meditations, 
for, for the goddesses who fight in these battles in their houses. When you fight this negative energy husband, when you fight this negative energy daughter or son, some of y'all got cousins living with y'all, aunties, family members, friends, you trying to help. Don't forget your soul contract, though. You get what I'm saying? Let them see you living what you're telling them. Let them see you meditating. Let them see you peaceful. When you're talking to them, have more patience with them because you're trying to raise the frequency. Now, Lord, you can't, no matter how negative they get, you're not going to make the frequency raise by getting back negative. If they respond negative, that's low frequency. If you respond negative, that's still low frequency. That's why they say two wrongs will make a right. You get what I'm saying? Actually sit them down and try talking to them. Try talking to them. This is your house. You pay the bills. You mom. Or, or you the owner. You the girlfriend or your mom or your auntie or whoever. It's your house. You talk to the goddesses who own houses or apartments. It's your crib. You know what the fuck I'm saying? It's your shit. So keep that in your mind. You can kick any motherfucker out at any time. Just acting like they don't want to your you and your shit. Because you can't play with your, with your energy. You got to protect your energy. See what I'm saying? You can't be high frequency and they low frequency. They're going to lower your frequency. You can't be all happy and they, and they sad. That don't even balance out. You all happy around a sad motherfucker. They going to get jealous. Or if you all sad around somebody that's happy, the happy motherfucker go get mad. They go lower their, they go, so they still lower their frequency. Then why you ain't happy for me? Now that they, they, they frequency go. See what I'm saying? Remember, we talk about frequency, energy. Meditate three times a day in that house because you know that you know these people is living with you ain't right. You can't see them as family. You can't see them as boyfriend. You got to see them as what they are. Souls and spirits. Let them see you meditate. Do it three times a day. Don't force nothing on them. Let them see you reading a book on, on, on based around knowledge yourself. In some form, shape, way, or fashion. Let them see you watching the shit on TV. Tag them and shit on social media. Do all this little shit. You want to go out your way because you're you trying to help save their soul and spirit. But you're doing it proactively and you're being passive about it. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to coming and saying, hey, believe this and lecturing them like me. Now let me do the lecturing. You see what I'm saying? You don't lecture no motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? Even me, like when I started, I, didn't, I never forced this on anybody. I sit and speak the truth and people came and they come how they come. Even now, we got 6,000 members and ain't always 6,000 people live. See what I'm saying? I never force it on them. You'll never force it. It's a universal law. If you force intellect on anybody, you are in spiritual violation. For all have free will. For this is why Zeus is in so much spiritual violation. Because he created a whole race of beings who infringed upon our free will. And he sent them to do that. And that's the one thing that we all had is free will. That's why they called it Free Willy. That's esoteric. They named the, and then they put a whale in the movie. Why Willy had to be a whale? Willy could have been a, a anything. He could have been a giraffe. They picked the whale because whales are smart as fuck. Why are smell, why are whales smart as fuck? They're not, they, because they even tell you the whales are, are, are smarter than humans. Whales are smarter than humans, but whales aren't smarter than gods. We the gods, we know who the humans is, who the human beings are, and, and, and we know who whales and dolphins really are, which I got a lecture coming up on that. But just the whales and dolphins are part of the nomos, extraterrestrial race. I'll save that for another lecture that I'm, that I'm donating on this website strictly to the nomos. Okay? The whole free willy was symbolic of the esoteric, cosmic, universal, multi-universal truth of free will. So when they had the little boy on the cover like that and Willie was jumping over him. The boy represented the, 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 the pinnacle, the top. That's why he was reaching out and Willie was going over there. Which signified there is no limit. 
Free will. Free will lead. They just put the illy on the end. Showed you an orca. One of the most intelligent of the nomos. Could have showed you any motherfucking animal in the animal kingdom could have been willy. Alright, this is the true esoterics behind Free Willy. I probably would put a deeper lecture just to that. You know what I'm saying? But you don't break you don't try to break the free will, goddess. You don't do it. But remember this. They can't stay in your house. Or you can't stay in their house. And you can't fear. For those goddesses who ain't got no money and you ain't got it like that, you can't fear leaving. Some of so, so a lot of y'all that y'all got real good spirits and souls, y'all for y'all and y'all for divinity, but y'all lack materialistic things. Y'all lack uh, the you know what I'm saying? Cause money ain't everything. But some lack. Okay, so for those who lack it, because you haven't manifested yet, right? In that department, all right, you still can't fear leaving. Because once you leave, if you follow your soul. You'll see that your soul is going to always lead you to where you need to be. And where you really need to be is at the highest frequency possible. Remember, your true job is to raise your frequency. And by raising your frequency, you raise others around you. So this is why I said embody that goddess. You know what I'm saying? But if you see after so long, you gotta give a, you gotta get them a cutoff time. All right, if you got kids and they 14, 15, and you see their little ass already starting to veer off from themselves, you gotta already know teens gonna do that. But still give them a cutoff time, you gotta give them tough love so they can hurry up and get up and get through that phase. Because if you don't put your foot down, now they 23 living in your house and they never learn no lessons and now they'll never learn nothing. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta remember. Your kids got their lessons to live. Your husband got his lessons to live. His soul, he got his own soul contract. Everybody, yeah, we coming together as a family, but everybody got their own soul contract. And we should be increasing each other's vibration. That doesn't mean that, that, that disagreements won't come. You know when y'all on the same vibration. You think me and my wife don't have disagreements? Yes, because she going to have her things. She said, I'm going to have my things. I say, she going to feel how she feel. I'm going to feel how I feel. But we on the same vibration, though. She not trying to go run the streets and do this and do that. She's working on herself, on her divinity. She already been there, done that. Me, not trying to run the streets and do that. I'm working on myself, being working on being the best version of myself every single day. Be a better child, so I could be a better father, better brother, friend, teacher, leader, speak all that. Every single day you're supposed to work on yourself. That's always been us. That's why we represent perfection. Because we was always working on ourselves. And if they say practice makes perfect. How much practice do you think we have. If we've been working on ourselves. Before time even existed. You know what I'm saying. Think about that. So. They tell you practice makes perfect. How long you think we've been practicing working on ourselves? And we are the ancient beings and we was here before time even existed. And we was working on ourselves. This is why we, Anunnaki, carbonated beings, night the beings, are perfection. But we are energy, electricity, like phones, just like a cell phone. And if we're not charged up fully, we can't work right. And a lot of things have been stripped from you so that you can't charge up fully. So now the little charge you, we do get, it halfway work. That's what's going on with us as a species. So you have to remember this, goddess. You can't lose your chi and your life force trying to save everybody in your goddamn house. You can only do that so long, so give yourself a cutoff time. I can't tell you the cutoff time. Your soul know that cutoff time. Because to truly increase your frequency in that house, sometimes you got to break all the way away. Energy is strong. 
if you the only one trying to rise in the house and nobody else around you is trying to rise, eventually you're going to stop trying to rise in that house. That's too much energy working against your energy. And being gods and goddesses, we all have a large abundance of energy. We are all very strong. Even the human beings are strong as fuck. Yeah, we are stronger being genetically more superior, but don't ever under, under, underestimate their strength neither. They still strong. Like, they still have a spirit. Even the reptilians, they know how to teleport. The Pleiadians, they know how to use our energetic inner energy that we use. So they are strong. They are not stronger than us. So what I'm saying is never... Never forget that although we are gods, we have other beings that still have strength too, and, and we can feel their strength. So if that person's soul is, if it's, if the, your husband's soul is the right, your your boyfriend's soul is the right, and he's living in your house, your your son's soul is the right, and he damn near 18, 19, your daughter's soul, you got to eventually remove that. Ain't no other way. Just because that's your daughter your son don't mean that's your daughter your son. See what I'm saying? You was just used as a vessel. You don't know what that soul came here to do. Only time will truly tell you that. You could, you could raise the child any way you want to raise the child. But at the end, it's going to always come down to the soul of that child. And they purpose. What were they here to do? You know how many serial killers it is? Their parents ain't shit like that. They don't know how their kids like that. Whole family shame. You know, people go to this. You know how many people run the street? They sell drugs, kill people, and ain't nobody in their family like that. They wasn't raised like that. They didn't come up like that, but they like that. Not many people wasn't raised with a dead in the household, but they still grow up and be a dead to others like they had a dead. I'm one of them. You would think I had a dead in my household to show me this shit. I learn every day still. So we can't, you know, not many people, you know what I'm saying? They, not, they ain't have a mama to show them how to be a mom, but shit, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna abandon their kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> that's just examples to show you that the soul will always do what it was destined to truly do. You can't interfere with destiny. And you don't want to get zapped because you in the way of a bullet that was for another motherfucker in your house. So raising the frequency in your house, it's not always an easy thing because it, it might come with you having to remove certain people out your house. And if you live in the house, goddess, because we still talking about the goddesses, the adult goddesses. And if you live, if you the adult goddess is living with somebody and you the one who got a high frequency, but because you living with them, motherfucker trying to treat you any kind of way. Or, and, you know, you just saving up your money, trying to still get on your feet, which is a process everybody didn't went through before. Unless you was born rich, which some people were. But majority of us went through that phase. Okay. If you living with people and you trying to get on your get on your shit and you vibing high but they all negative, you gotta remove yourself from that household too eventually. Whether you got the house or you living in the house with somebody. Alright, now to the adult gods. Same thing. You got a goddess. She whether it's your wife, your mistress, nigga. <laughs> Whatever you want to call her, your side chick, your girlfriend, your baby mama. If y'all live in a house together, where is your house? Or whether you live with her. Because you got you got both ways. You got guys that got their own house and they vibing high. 
and and, and they got negative god goddesses living with them you get what i'm saying or you got it, it go the other way you got other guys that's vibing high and they don't have their own house they live with her that's her house but they still go to work and help with the bills or they go hustle and still help with the bills they still yeah she got the house but they help them with the bread you know what I'm saying? The other guys, they ain't helping with the bread but right now because they don't have the bread right now. But they might do more helping around the house. They cooking more. They cleaning more. You know, you can always balance out the energy. You know what I'm saying? Balance out. It's a way you can balance. You know, you got that. Okay, I'm talking to you right now. If, if, if you're vibing high, you trying to eat clean, for example. But all she want to do is steady cook all this bullshit. You might not even know how to cook. There's a lot of guys who know how to cook, and the guy doesn't know how to cook, but he got a high vibration, and he trying to eat clean. He trying to work on himself. He trying to lose some weight or whatever. You trying to pull your life. You know what? I want to lose some weight, slim down, tone up, do this. You know what I'm saying? Get my breathing back right. I'm eating. I'm, I'm working on eating my fruit. I'm meditating. You know, because now, because once you start going within yourself, it's going to point you to what you need to be doing down here. And what you need to be doing going to bring, don't never got to, you never got to worry about money and chase it. If you do what you're here to do, what you what you do is gonna be so great. It's gonna bring people gonna pay you for what you when you doing what you doing. You do what you here to do. People gonna pay you for that regardless because that's called natural universal compensation. You are supposed to be compensated in some way or fashion anyway for what it is that you do. All right. So being in the past, it used to be we give each other forms of energy. You know what I'm saying? Then when we fell in frequency, we would trade with each other and give each other some horses and land. And then now it's money. We give each other money. You know what I'm saying? So it's always been some form of trading of energy for compensation for what you do. Even if it wasn't no, nothing more than somebody praising you and saying, hey, good job. You need that. That's energy. When somebody tell you something good, you feel good. If they tell you something bad, you feel low. So you can never in that you can never downplay the the energy, the power of just good words. It feel better than a million dollars or just as good as it far as in the feeling, you know? Especially when somebody mean it. You know when they mean it, you can feel it. Because you got hairs that stand up. They stand up. These are your antenna on your skin. Your hairs are antenna. So you, that's what, that's the, that's why you can feel shit. You, can, you couldn't feel the AC, the heat, the ray, the energy from the sun if you didn't have antenna on your skin. You, your, that allows your soul to feel it. Wow, yeah, it's hot out here. I like that. You know what I'm saying? That's what the hair is. It's on your skin. It's for all the hairs on you. Stay for it. Antenna. The ones up top, antenna as well. So, if you living with her or she's living with you, or you living with them or they living with you, you can have family live with you. You can be living with family. I would start with saying, get you a man cave. They call it a man cave. I call it a God cave. Go get you a little spot where you can just dip off to yourself in that house. You know, because you don't have your own house, so you can't just go pop up or in the house. And even if whether you got, even if you got your own house, if you live with others, it still ain't your house. It's y'all house. Okay, so it'll never be your house unless you just live alone. But we not talk about people that live alone. Because if you live alone right now, then you ain't got to really worry about how to raise the frequency in the negative house. Because it shouldn't be negative. If it's negative, it's all your ass. You the only motherfucker in there. Man. You know what I'm saying? So it should be no energy effect. Or your, your energy, the only energy that, that matters, you the only one in there. But when it's other energies, all these other energies is going to affect the room. Okay, so... If you if you living with others or others are living with you, you know, start by like being a God, you know, we are leaders. We different than goddesses. So we are naturally we are we are natural born leaders because we were created to do that since our inception in the cosmos. So you need it's imperative. You need you that little space where you can just be alone in. You know what I'm saying? So get you we they like I said, they like to call it a man cave or I'm I'm gonna rename it and call it a God cave because we're not man, we know that. So you know, being a guy, you want to have a little seclusion spot where you could just get to yourself and, you know, and, and from there, from there, you know, now you build, you know, you be still and you a leader. So you're different than a goddess, whereas a goddess, is, it is in her natural role to just flat out lead because in the beginning it was just her. So she had no reason to lead. 
she just multiplied herself and, 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 it, and it was. But when she created us, it was like she gave us the leadership spot. So a goddess has never been in a position of leadership until after they reversed the roles. And now our goddesses have had to step up and be dad and mom, which has fucked them up and the kids up and the dads up. Okay? You know what I'm saying? A, a, a god can't be a mother and a, and a goddess can never be a father. All right? That's why I would never tell a mother happy Father's Day. And I would never tell a father happy Mother's Day. I don't give a fuck how good you is to them kids. You can't be mom. You father. You pops. You pops, nigga. You pops, nigga. You can't nurture, nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga, how gentle you be. You will never have that estrogen energy. You will never have a touch of a, of a, of a, of a mother's touch. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with mom. No matter how stern she be on them sons, and no matter how, you will never have be father. You can work hard. You can be there for him. Nobody's taking that from you. But you can never be a father. You shouldn't try to be. Don't try to be. That ain't your role. If his father ain't there, he need to know his father ain't there. You know what I'm saying? And he will respect you more for 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 being mom for just being mom. You you get you get you still get all the kudos for just being mom. You know what I'm saying? It don't diminish it. You ain't gotta be feeling like you pops because you doing shit that the pops supposed to be doing. You can sit in the barbershop all day with your son. That ain't you will never be pops. You know, because when you in the barbershop, it ain't even going to be the same vibe. Them barbers ain't going to vibe with you like they would vibe with his dad. Because they guys and you still a guys. All right? You can take your daughter. Same thing with the guy. You take your daughter to the beauty shop every Saturday, nigga, at one. And give her ice cream afterwards, nigga, and you will never be mom. <laughs> Them guys, when you walk in there, ain't going to... You the ops, nigga. They ain't finna talk about none of this shit they would have talked about if your ass wasn't sitting in there with their ass. You see what I'm saying? All type of conversations that got cut short because you didn't came in with your daughter at the nail shop, nigga. You don't even know it. You thinking it's the normal flow, nigga. They be way more active than this. You come in as quiet than a motherfucker, nigga. They be talking like a motherfucker when they eating your ass in there, nigga. You get what I'm saying? So... <laughs> You feel me like for real, nigga, like, nigga, the nail, sh nail smell don't even smell right to you. You know, your eyebrows looking weird at the smell of that. The other goddesses in there like, yep, he ain't one of us. We have an imposter in here. So, you know, understand, God, you need, you a leader. You know, you have, you have testosterone. You don't have estrogen in your avatar. So, don't move with emotion. You know what I'm saying? It gets frustrating trying to lead the troops and rally the whole household to understand that everybody got to rise because if you living with family members or they living with you, you know, whether you got you living with your dad and your cousins and you, you still a leader. Even if it's other gods in the house, you're still a natural born leader. That's why too many gods don't be living in the house together. They going to bump heads. It's the same thing with too many goddesses. Like, you got a god and goddess, that's the balance. You know what I'm saying? So, uh... You, you find that God came first, you know, and, and go deep within yourself. Move with no emotion. Remember you a leader. Remember that everything comes to you. Remember that you are the genie. So the way that you completely wanted to be able to go there, so everything is a thought. Let's, not, let's never forget the power of thought. But also, when you're dealing with other souls and, 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 and spirits, let's not forget the rules. Yeah, I can. Yeah, you can use your energy as a God or God as to force somebody to think your way or see it your way, but never do that, though. Now, that, yeah, you can do debate, but you ain't forcing nobody in debate. They still got to actually choose, you know. The forcing is to make them the put. Don't get on social media. It's, a, it's, a, it's more than you would think. 
You still got a whole generation out here that's pre, that's that's way before the internet, so they don't fuck with the internet still. They off the grid. It's a whole generation out here like that. So, you know, remember that. And and as a god, you know, examples of. Of a, of, a, of a negative house would be like if you living with your goddess and she's talking down on you, telling you you ain't shit, you ain't this, what you ain't gonna be. That's a, that's an abusive relationship. That's a verbal abuse. And she's pouring low frequency on you. Or if you living with your mom and she's saying, ah, you just like your daddy and this and that. Some moms like that talk shit to their sons like that. And that's still low frequency. Give a fuck who it's coming from. That's low frequency. That's te fucking up your chi. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking up your, your life force, lowering your frequency, and now you stay in the rut, and now you can't manifest. See, a lot of people to look at, a lot of people want to be successful, but the only reason they want to be successful is because it's a high vibration. All right? Why is it considered a high vibration? Because they made money, everything here in this realm. So now if you got a good job, and you know, why do people really want to graduate high school? So that they can go to a good college. Let's just be real. Now, why do they want to go to a good college? So that they can make Get a good job, make a lot of money. Okay, why don't they want to make a lot of money? So they can drive nice cars, get a nice big house. And if you a guy, you want to get you a nice, beautiful goddess. If you a goddess, you want you a nice, handsome husband. So in essence, everybody doing this shit for money. You give a fuck who you is. At the end of the day, if you go to work, you don't go to work because you love it. When I get on here and talk, this is what I love. This ain't work for me. The only work is organizing the goddamn lectures. The work for me now is getting all these packages out and have to respond to gods and goddesses every day. Let them know like, hey, your tracking number should be coming. Your package on the way. You get what I'm saying? Because people have been waiting for their stuff because there's so many people ordered. Like, and you got a lot of gods and goddesses, like I said, that already got their stuff. But overall... That's the work. That would be the work for me. That's new to me. But sitting here talking to y'all, I'll care about my people. I'm passionate about this. I mean this. I'm not fucking around. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all see me in there every day. You feel me? It was finna blitz YouTube every day. And then YouTube had blocked me. So it's like... Y'all feel me? Most individuals are doing what they do for money, which is low frequency. So most people is chasing that success, which is once again backed by some form of financial finance, financial stability. No matter how you word this shit, it's all money. Okay, so. But that's just a thought. That's a vibration. And you have to clear out negative energy. Like, you can't be negative and, and, and reach any form of what you would call success because that's on a certain energy, on a certain frequency. It's just like TV. Like, you with me, guy? Like, if I want to watch ESPN, I can't have a TV on BET. I can't have a channel on CBS. I can't have a channel on ABC, but I want to watch. I want to watch Stephen A. Smith on ESPN, and then now I'm wondering why I can't, why I ain't got Stephen A. Smith. This is how most guys and goddesses be when they like why they ain't got success or why they don't have the the financial be where they want to be financially. But it's because they are filled with the negative, and they didn't cloud the negative energy waves. They are on a low frequency. You have to match the frequency of what it is that you want. And that's how you get it to come to you. You don't get it to come to you by working harder for it. It's still a never come to you because you're chasing it. You get what I'm saying? You get it by being still and, and, and doing exactly what you was put here to do. And everything that you think is success is going to come to you. That's all high frequency, right? So, okay, when you in that household, everybody around you got to be on that high frequency. You can't be on a high frequency trying to achieve something great, God, and then you living with her or, you, or them. Or they living with you, or she's living with you, and they not matching that frequency. They gonna slow down your success mm -hmm. and where you trying to get to. Everybody in the house has to be on that high frequency. That's why you can't 
You ain't got your money up where you want it. You ain't started that company you want to start it. You didn't get that job you wanted. You ain't able to get that goddess you want to attract that good goddess. You were around negative motherfuckers. So you got to raise their frequency. Because while you in here listening to me, you doing, you working with crystals. You definitely want to work with the crystals. Drape yourself in this intent. I don't just wear it. It's to wear it is. Drape yourself in this intent. Three, get your crystals. Do that too, God. You being a God with that masculine energy, that being that Y chromosome, 90th of being that you are. You are a natural commander. Command your intent into your, get you a few crystals and command your intent into them. If you need patience, command that intent into, into your crystals. And don't trip. It's lessons coming up on crystals on this website. Don't even worry about it. But I talk about the three C's and then what the, the 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 cleansing your crystal, consecrate it, and then charging it up. So you being a leader, you have to you have to lead. You have to be forceful with the message. And if they don't want to listen, you got to get them from around you because that's how you're going to raise the frequency higher in your house. God, by getting them from around you, your frequency is going to go higher. Or if you're living with them, you're going to have to move out. It ain't going to be a step back, trust me. Because if their frequency is low and your frequency high, your frequency so high that the universe is going to send you in the right direction. Trust me. The universe. Trust your soul. Trust the process. You're going to have to remove yourself out that environment, though. It's a negative environment. It's a low frequency environment. Because, listen, you can burn candles. You can write down magical spells, which is forms of voodoo hoodoo. You can write down magical spells, incantations, all this. But that might not even take place or manifest just because you're, you're surrounding yourself with a household full of low vibrational beings. And you can't force them to wake up. So the only way you can do it is by, I told you how to be forceful with it, meditate in front of them, talk to them about meditation, talk to them about the, the awakening and what's going on within themselves. Show them, actually show them Pictures, a lot of people gonna need to see it. Show them. You can post some little stuff up from Google. That's, a, that's enough pictures to get their mind going. And then some individuals, guess what? You can show them anything you want to show them, and they still ain't gonna believe you because it's not meant for them to rise in frequency. You gotta know the difference, God. You a leader, Y chromosome, ninety three being. But definitely start getting more crystals in your house, though, God. And God is too. More crystals, certain crystals. Like rose quartz crystals. Rose quartz crystals is good for the love vibration and bringing family together because of the high frequencies of the high hertz. All right? The love vibration. The rose quartz emits the love vibration. Program your intent into that crystal and charge it up. And you, especially you get, especially you start getting enough of them. You can have just a little room and leave your door open. Start leaving your door open. Start writing your spells down for that house as well to fight against those spirits in the house. You can do that as well. But you want to do that based upon the flow of the energy. See what I'm saying? You don't want to enter into a battle fight with spirits in that house and you might be against some shit stronger than yourself right now. Because it's levels. You got too many. You got to know when to just... I don't have to get them out of my house or move away from this house. Period. You got you to gotta know the difference. Know. And timing is everything. Timing is everything. 
But of course, you introduce them to to that knowledge of self. You do you you definitely introduce them to knowledge of self. You definitely do that. All right, yeah, we back. All right, so. You're going to have to completely remove yourself from that energy. Still talking to the guys right now. When you talk about, because like I say, the house itself is the negative. It's the energy. The spiritual force is in the house. That's what you are up against. <laughs> Negative entities want to keep that frequency as low as possible. So they can bask in it. They can that's what they strong at. When you when the frequency high, they can't live in a high frequency. So it's no way for you to raise that frequency in the house. To the highest level and everybody in the house stay vibrating low. No, when you raise the frequency, everybody in the house got to come up on that frequency. Right? So, a lot of gods, this is why I say being a natural leader, going deep within yourself is, is it, and, 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 and setting that tone within yourself because what you do on the inside affects the outside anyway. So you can go deep within yourself and change the outside of what you see in front of you. Remember, matter is just a bunch of atoms clustered together vibrating real slow. But when you're trying to, when you're raising a frequency that way, you're going to enter a spiritual battle because now you're playing with magic. That's that's magic at that point. Like, okay, I'm going within myself and I'm going to just set it the way I want it to be. Okay, but now these negative forces are going to go within themselves and set it the way they want it to be. Now you got to go back within yourself and set it the way you want it to be and it becomes a battle that can drain you on a third, from a third density level. If you're not a practitioner of this and haven't been a practitioner, a practitioner of it for a long period of time. So you don't want to take that route. That's why I say the best route to take is to remove them out your household. Like I told the goddesses or you remove your remove yourself from that household. That's if the first steps don't work of you actually trying to meditate around them. Bringing the information to them. Getting a lot of crystals, certain crystals, like I say, specifically rose quartz. So you can play singing bowls in that house. Singing bowls are definitely, y'all love when I play the singing bowls. Y'all be feeling it on that end. Singing bowls going to always raise the frequency in that house. 
But guess what? If you play that singing bowl, yeah, you're going to start raising the frequency. But guess what? If they vibrate low, they're going to say, I don't want to hear that singing bowl. It ain't going to feel good to them like it feel to you. Y'all on two different frequencies. To my young goddesses who are living with moms and living with living with with dad and living with a family. Or you don't even have to be young. You just living. You living with your family. You in that household. You living with somebody. Or they living with you. This is to the gods, goddesses. It's hard to raise that frequency for a lot of individuals because they do not want to take the necessary steps required. We talking about a house. Motherfuckers live together in this apartment or in this house. So when you live together, y'all family, whether y'all blood or not, living together there makes you family. When y'all gotta live together, family vibes, even down to jail. Nigga, you see a nigga he was locked up with, it be damn near like a family vibe because y'all live together in jail. Remembering who you are, being that you are 666, and remembering that all spirits and souls have free will is the best way to raise the frequency in a negative house. Do what make you smile. Do what make you happy. Follow your soul mission. And try to bring them with you in that house. But if they try to step in your way, you, you, you stand on them. Because if they are not rising with you, they can only pull you down. You can't even raise the frequency if you don't know it needs to be raised neither. Be aware of your environment. Watch the way your kids respond to you, your wife respond to you, your husband responds to you, your girlfriend, your family, whoever in this house. Pay attention to the energies. Pay attention to everybody's lifestyle. It matters. And remember to protect your energy regardless. I taught y'all what you focus on, you give your energy to, your life force to. Some of us, some of us have the gift of persuasion. So some of y'all can raise the frequency of your household. It's not, it's not gonna be how, it's not gonna be hard. But for others, it'll be a little harder because you have a different gift, and it's not persuasion. That's a spiritual battle. Some of y'all try to focus on the lectures and y'all probably can't even listen because y'all in negative environments. Everybody around you affects your energy. That's the best way to raise the frequency is to remember that. Everything around you 
emits a frequency from the beans in your house down to the objects in your house. Everything is alive, down to the lighters in your house. Everything has to be on a high frequency. My bad, y'all. Yeah, everything has to be on a high frequency. Remember, a house is a prism shape. It's constricted. So the energy is going to only circulate. Energy is not going to go out. Energy can come in, but it'll never go out. Unless you clear it. That's the thing about a house. Because it's a prism shape. Energy will come in, but it won't go out unless you clear it out. But you can clear out the energy in your house. And if that person who has the negative spirits within them within them is still living in your house, that energy will come right back. So, so it's going to always come down to the spirit and soul who's, har who's harboring these other negative entities within themselves in your house. You got to know when to hold and when to fold. And remember your soul contract. Because the true mission is to keep your frequency at the highest state. Can't be great. You're the best version of yourself when you're in an environment where, no, where others don't feel like that. With that being said, I will see y'all tomorrow in class. Peace to the gods and goddesses of planet Kai. Let that sit on your soul. Alright? Because that's easier said than done. When it's emotions involved and now you want to lie and say a person ain't got a low frequency because your emotions is there. Look like we got some homework to do within ourselves tonight, don't we, y'all? Peace to the guys and guys of Planet Kai. Now we rise. One.